Hey, what is up everyone? It's Bobby from T2 Japan, coming at you with a video about Okayama's public transit system. Now, Okayama City is not even the top 20 biggest cities in Japan. It's like 23rd or something with 720,000 people. It does have a Shinkansen stop, so that's pretty impressive in and of itself. What Okayama City does have for public transit are local trains, buses, and tramways. Yep, tramways. They've been around since the major period here. So let's talk about local trains for a sec. Places like Kureshiki, which are really popular destinations for tourism, there's a train that leaves from Okayama Station every 10-15 minutes for it, which is great. Places like Osafune or Tsuyama, which are less popular, you might have to wait 30 minutes to an hour for a train. I suggest looking up the timetables ahead of time on Hyperdia, maybe Google Maps, Yahoo Maps, whatever application that you prefer. Also, one note about IC card readers. A lot of stations in Okayama Prefecture do accept them, but certain stations like, let's say, Uno Port, which is really famous for its port that leads to Naoshima, doesn't have IC card readers. You have to buy a ticket to get there. So keep that in mind. Now take a look at this map for a second. The portions highlighted in blue signify areas of Okayama that don't accept IC card readers. So keep that in mind when you go travel around Okayama. If you don't want to bother station staff about getting a ticket, here's what you can do. Look up the route in Hyperdia ahead of time, find a ticket machine, look for the English option, press the ticket price, pay, get the ticket, you're done. Now let's talk about buses. There are two bus terminals at Okayama Station. The buses on the east side all go to Saidaiji and other residential areas. So if you live here or work in Okayama, it's really useful to know. Unfortunately, there's no English map or schedule available online. So you're gonna have to ask the bus station staff for help. Or there's a big timetable in front of Okayama Station's east side that shows the times and the bus numbers for the major tourist spots. Now on the west side of the station, the local buses go to Okayama University. There are highway and JR buses that go all across the country. You need reservations to get on these buses, so you you can't just mistakenly go on them and find yourself in Totori or something. So no worries there. And finally, to the trams we go. There are only two tram lines in Okayama. There's Higashiyama and there's Seikibashi. If you're a tourist, you're probably going to go on the Higashiyama line because that's where you're going to find Shiroshita Station, which leads you to Korakuen and Okayama Castle. If you're here just living, working, then you might go on the Seikibashi, which is mostly residential. But other than that, it's not that popular. In order to avoid confusion, make sure to look at the signs on the front of the tram. The trams only cost 100 to 140 yen and they take IC card meters, which is Great. So really the main criticism I have of Okayama's public transit system is there isn't a whole lot of information in English that's easy to find for everybody. But that said, Okayama's a great city and I do find that you can live here without a car pretty easily. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video helps those who are living here, moving here, or just visiting. As always, make sure to comment down below to help improve the channel. Like and subscribe for more videos from Q2 Japan. Peace.